Listener, let's go backwards. Boston, Salt Lake City, Detroit, Toronto. I forget there's one other city in there. Uh, uh, Philly, D.C. Ah, more, more. L.A., San Francisco, Sacramento. So many cities. Get on the text alert. But also, a lot of these tickets are out. AshleyGavin.com. Go get them. Patreon.com slash WHGS for bonus episodes. We get a little raunchy on, on the latest one that we just recorded. And then this week, one of my favorite comedians in the entire world, Tien Tran, is back on the podcast. She is so funny. You've seen her on Comedy Central. You've also seen her on Hulu's How I Met Your Father. She's just hysterical. And we do another sex injury story. She took her neck out. It's very, very funny. And the riffing, if you love the riffs, this is one of those episodes where it's just supreme, supreme riffing. All right. Are you good? Are you well, bottom? How are you? Type in the comments, if you're actually listening to me, how you are. Have a good week, listener. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Rocket Money. Oh, you don't know what Rocket Money is? Well, I'll tell you. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills all in one place. And I knew what Rocket Money was because I've been using it forever and it has saved me so much money. And my favorite part about Rocket Money is that it's so easy to use. Yeah. So stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash Ashley. That's rocketmoney.com slash Ashley. One more time. That's rocketmoney.com slash Ashley. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Helix. If you've been listening a while, you know I love my Helix mattress. It's the best sleep I've ever gotten in my life, and it's because Helix knows that I'm a little snowflake. So it gave me a custom quiz. It took just two minutes, and I got the perfect mattress for me. And right now, Helix is offering up to 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Just go to helixsleep.com slash gaysex. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. That's helixsleep.com dot com slash gay sex with helix better sleep starts now i'm in my mid-30s where like sleeping wrong can like fuck me up for weeks and that's happening right now so after march madness my partner and i were like getting a little hot and heavy flirty and then i leaned in and i was like i can't it my neck hurts too bad (laughs) it's funny that if your neck goes out you have to like if you want to have sex you have to pretend to be way kinkier than you want to be babe i have this neck brace that i really want you to fuck me in (laughs) <laughs> Wait, remember I wanted to be a mannequin? Let's do that. <laughs> Yo, did you watch? Did That's you watch so the game? Funny. Did you watch Kate the Mark Clark? Madness? Yeah. Yes, I did. It was a fantastic. I mean. I was a little was disappointed, a I got to say. I didn't even know I, basketball was happening right well, now. Well, the thing is, I'm not a big sports guy either, except women's basketball. And even that, I'm not that great at. Tan, you should come with me. I have a, oh, I have a thing I've ever heard season tickets to the Liberty. You should come next time you're in New York. We should come to the oh game. Oh, my God. I would I love great that. great seats because they're so fucking cheap because no one pays women. <laughs> <laughs> Bargain bin, bargain bin, <laughs> bargain bin, greatest athletes of all time. Um, but truly the fact that like some of the greatest athletes of all time are like in the bargain bin is so insane. But no, Caitlin- it's so upsetting. It's deeply upsetting. Yeah, it's deeply upsetting. Caitlin Clark is so good. I mean, mm-hmm. truly, I think she has as many or if not more points in her first however many games than Michael Jordan did in college. That's crazy. Oh, is that true? Yeah. That's she's, amazing. Someone correct me because I don't have that stat off the top of my head. She's averaging like 33 points per game in the playoffs. She's she's so good that men are calling her like the GOAT. Damn. And you know when men, when you overcome that sex, you know because you do it as a comedian. <laughs> when you overcome, you know when a man is like, bro, you, that When a guy is like, funny. actually? Yeah, actually, you're actually, really good. Actually, she's a shooter. Actually, she's a hooper. And you're like, fuck off. Yeah. So, but she's really good. And I really, she's really good. I wanted to watch her win and crush, but it, it didn't happen for her last night. I personally was rooting for LSU, even though I don't like their coach, but I love Angel Reese. So mm-hmm. I had a, gr- I had a great afternoon. Wait, what's the bad thing about their coach? Their coach is maybe definitely a homophobe. <laughs> That coaches women's basketball? Yes, yes. Well, he just shows up to practice and he's like, all of you are fine. No, 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 she, okay, first of all, she, okay, (laughs) 
She is a homophobe. Sexist. Okay. Sexist. Okay. Sexist. Coaches can, women can be coaches too. And doctors. What? And, no way. <laughs> comedians? Can I be comedians? <laughs> no, not yet. We're still trying to find some. <laughs> That's why um, I transitioned. <laughs> <laughs> I identified as non-binary because I was like, ooh. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way, but I would like to do comedy. I'd like to be in the running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, she, is she legit homophobic? Because there are some gay, gay people on her team. Oh, she used to coach Baylor and she coached Brittany Griner. And when Brittany Griner was detained in Russia, she didn't say anything. Like, what? Ooh. Was interviewed about it. And, you know, everyone was speaking out and trying to get her home. And Kim Mulkey, who literally was her coach, was like, can't talk about it. So, that's like, does evil. Kim think Brittany's going to get straighter in prison? Because that's not usually how it goes. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was awful. I... <laughs> I'm sure people are not being gay in Russian prison. That was a horrible thing that happened, but I had to make the joke. Um, Where else would you be gay in Russia, though? <laughs> yeah. That's also like, true. That's so in a room. true. That's so true. Poor Brittany. That was off. That was like the whole no, no, thing. No, it's no, it's so, Kim, so Kim is, ugh, but the team, great, 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 great. Um, well, I'm so glad we talked about sports. Let's talk about, you were one of my favorite guests. I'm, I know we've been trying to get you back because last time it was, the video was sabotaged. Oh, right. Yes. I had the best time. So I've, I'm very honored to be back. I'm so glad that you're back. I should have prepped the story, but we're in the apartment. We're having gay sex. We're having gay sex with Tan Tran, comedian, star of How I Met Your Father on Hulu, friend of Hillary Duff, friend of mine. Um, True. I, I love you. I think you're I so you fucking funny. I love your comedy. And I can't wait till we meet in real life because I just... I love when we have great comedians on here that it's just so easy to sit and have a conversation about how Britney Griner's gay or in prison. Sorry, I like zoned out as soon as you said Hillary Duff. I started thinking about that viral picture of her in the pink dress and how it changed my life. Wait, what? Have Wait, you not what, seen what, that? What we is this inappropriate? I know this is someone you have like a professional relationship with. <laughs> Maddie, you need to calm down. Okay, because Hillary Duff, okay, well, there's this picture of her. Just search Hillary Duff pink dress and like Google will know. It, okay, it I will. I mean, I bet I've seen it. And my life. dress or skirt? Because skirt is dress. what's coming. Mini skirt or dress? Well, I, I doubt the people who think it's hot know the difference. <laughs> the men who, yo, dude, dude, I'm like insane. I was like, oh, oh, she looks fantastic. Oh, oh Hillary Duff's the hottest woman alive. Okay, she looks fantastic. I didn't know she had a, a, I didn't know that that's what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> so like, okay. sorry, I'm like oh, really wow. going to try to. Everybody, both of you calm down, okay? <laughs> Whoa. No, she looks great in that pink dress. Bazinga. <laughs> wah, wah, wee wah. What? <laughs> Did you know that? Tien, have you? <laughs> is that why you auditioned for the show? Is yeah, that's actually why I auditioned for the show. <laughs> In the audition, you said to go, Auga. Auga. I, I did. I was like, no, Auga. It is and real. Then I drooled. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, You. Did your eyes go, <laughs> like, did they pop out of your, woo? You know, yeah. that, like, yeah, like the, court, the cartoon. Yeah. Wily e. Coyote <laughs> seeing a sexy coyote, sexy girl coyote. <laughs> <laughs> that that is like one of the craziest the time like the 50 or 60 years where cartoon characters were just cartoon characters unless they were female cartoon characters in which they were like ass titties makeup <laughs> cartoon characters. Oh my god, all those cartoon ca they were such perverts. They were such perverts but also and then we're like, why are there furries? And it's like, <laughs> because you gave them the biggest hits I've yes. ever seen in my life and then showed it to me when I was five years old. I'm not a furry, but I'm saying. It's okay. It's, it's I'm okay. I'm really not. I, I already got a Maddie, list of so many weird queer Maddie, things I'm doing. Maddie, this is, Maddie, it's okay. It's okay. I don't, didn't you say not you okay. wanted to have elf ears? That's, kind, that's furry adjacent, <laughs> Maddie. I do think elves, Maddie, elves are kind of cool, but I'm not Maddie, like, that's, that's I'm not like I can't come if I'm not an elf. Do you have? Do you like little elf ears? I well, I like people have like the little pointy ones. That's furry people, yeah. adjacent. That's furry okay. adjacent. Well, I'm not gonna do it. Mm. I just think it's kind of cool. But I'm not a fucking. Mm. I'm not like. Okay, sorry. No Some, shame to the furry community. And they are listening, Maddie. <laughs> I know they're they listening. are listening, and they've been to shows. They've been to shows in fur. I was gonna be like, if you're in the furry community, fight me. But then I was like, oh, you're a bear. You're gonna maul me. <laughs> like, don't. <laughs> you will use teeth and nails. If you're a furry like <laughs> gerbil, I can take you. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you for being Sorry. here. We're in the apartment. 
<laughs> Did I say we're having gay sex? Already a yes. really fun episode. I don't know. Do you have anything going on? I'm I'm both simultaneously coming up with a great intro for Maddie. Maddie's <gasps> our hall monitor to keep me from getting canceled. So I try and do Love something it. scholastic. Maybe the did were you were you into like the bus with all the books? The bus? We had the scholastic book the fair, book but it fair. was in the gym. In the gym. What oh kinda? my god, I love scholastic. I was a magic school bus um member? You could sign up for Magic. Do you guys remember Magic School Bus? I, yeah. My school didn't do it. No, like the show in the book. Magic oh, you could school sign bus. I don't know you what bus you're up. talking about, but I know Magic School Bus. There's a bus. Yeah, school? I don't know I, what bus you're talking about either. I think we should just veer away. I think, I, I think I'm in another. You seem to think everyone had a bus <laughs> outside your school and you were the only one who didn't. But I think <laughs> none of us have that. And you made that up. Anybody. You were like, did you have the bus? I didn't have the bus. God, I wish I had the bus. I'm, I'm a New York City kid, so a lot of things, we didn't have like a lot of space in the school, so a lot of things would happen in the street. <laughs> so oh, okay. they would they would have like- okay. like yeah, Our elementary school was on like 40 acres. Like we had like a huge yeah. fucking woods and everything. Yeah, I had it. Yeah. <laughs> you could get lost on the grounds. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me one time. That happened to me one time. Yeah, that's that's- obvious that you got lost of course <laughs> well i was just like adhd in my own brain like i didn't hear them call the class back in a janitor was, was definitely like pissing in the woods <laughs> was like what are you doing out here well i was like kicking around dirt by myself and then eventually i looked up and i was like oh it's been a long time and like nobody's out here <laughs> and then my teacher came to look for me and she walked right past me and i was like the, she and i was like hey were you looking for me and she was like oh i did not just walk right past you and i was like you did and she was like, no. And I was like, okay. <laughs> that wasn't as fun of a story as I thought. Is that sad? <laughs> she, but you, she, but she you have the energy of someone who, who, who would get lost. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I'm remembering another time and that happened And people would find too. you and then not find you. Like they would find you and then continue to leave you. Yeah. That's the energy that you have as a That's child. That's horrifying. Actually, that happened to me twice. It also happened to me at Jewish, a Jewish daycare. <laughs> wow. Okay. A lot to unpack here. <laughs> <laughs> I also do date people with the energy of like, you found me. I've been on the playground for 10 years. <laughs> it's stuck with me. Um, well, uh, anyway, I'm Ashley Gavin, cis gay white woman. She, her pronouns. And then as always, unless Maddie, Maddie, what the fuck happened to Maddie? I haven't seen her. I, where is Maddie? I don't know. I think she's out kicking dirt like some depression era kid. Yeah. Sydney, Sydney, can you go see if Maddie's feeding the pigeons again outside? Thank you. All right, we'll get Maddie in a sec. Oh, there you are. You've Hi. been in front of me this whole time. <laughs> Matt, the hall monitor Maddie. to keep me from getting canceled. Maddie Wiener, how you doing, Maddie? I'm good. That was devastating. Um, <laughs> I am good. I'm Maddie Wiener. She, they pronouns. Um, bisexual, gender, you know, fluid, whatever. Say it. In gender fluid, non-binary, general kind of corner of stuff. Um, yeah. People were saying that you were glowing on the last episode that we released because really? you came, you said non-binary so confidently. Really? Okay. So I don't want you oh, to I go back. That. I don't want you to go back into your sads about it. You're weird. About okay. It. Thank you. Don't I'm be weird. Non-binary. And we're gonna keep. We're gonna uplift. Yeah. We we are gonna uplift. And the way to describe once it too we is like, find them. Yeah. But once we find them, we're gonna uplift. Yeah. Thank you. Well, because it's I feel like I'm like gender fluid between being non-binary and a woman but i i'll i'll shorten that spiel that's non-binary okay so i'm non-binary uh and you can't be between wow you'd think as a comic i would have learned word economy but that was a lot of fat on that you uh, cannot identity. be between binary and non-binary <laughs> it's either binary or non-binary you fucking idiot being non-binary is ironically very a very binary thing yeah you're yeah either in or you're, you're either in or you're out <laughs> um that's me i'm a comic yeah that's most of my stuff do you mind tian do you mind introducing yourself with everything that the listener at home might want to know about you your yeah, pronouns and everything I'm, yeah of course i'm tian tran she her uh, lesbian, Vietnamese American, uh, third in the birth order of my sister. That actually uh, is so important, and I cannot believe that we don't talk about that more often. I think birth order is easily the most important personality indicator. It's a huge, in, uh, like who you marry is often the same in the birth order as you. Really? It, oh, is that true? Yes. Yeah. Very common. Are you and Jen the same birth order? Yeah, me and Jen are the same birth order. Wow. What? Well, Tian. 
what birth order do you think I am? Oh God. Okay, wait. Wait, Tan, did you say you're youngest I'm or oldest of three? I'm the I'm third. I'm th- I should I should be spending more. I'm third out of four. Very mm. common for comedians to be the youngest or a middle. Interesting. No, I'm the oldest. There okay, you go. well, Maddie. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um. Oh, Maddie, you you but you are really baking breaking boundaries as both a comedian and the kid who no one can find <laughs> as an oldest. That's so not oldest energy. Yeah, I have, I have real middle kid energy, maybe. Yeah, you really do. Maybe. You have real middle kid energy. How many siblings do you have, Ashley? Can I ask that? I have one. Oh, I feel, are you the younger? I'm the older. I'm the oldest. I'm a weirdo wow. because I'm both a comedian and an anal type A bitch. So like I I like really am so I would never use those words to describe you. <laughs> no. It is funny because most comedians you're like, wow, you I can't you could never have survived in an office job. And I'm like, you would have run Raytheon. Like you <laughs> Yeah, you would have. Girl boss your way to the fucking top. You'd be a weapon CEO for sure. <laughs> That's so funny. I would be good at that. I'm um, just lobbying to go to war all the time. I, I I really actually think I could go up to politicians and be like, they're like really, they really think you have a small dick. Like they the way they're talking to you, like that is, they think you have a small dick energy, dude. They think you have only one way to. Now buy all these nuclear weapons from me to make your dick feel big. Don't, don't, don't be a little bitch. Can um, I untangle this? Could you? Yes, yeah. Oh, Thank I'm you. killing you. Sorry. I'm strangling you with my mic. No, but you know what it is? Now, if you saw me in an office environment, here's the thing when I'm in an office environment, I'm a menace. I'm so bad at it. I was like late to meetings all the time. I, I hated meetings. What was your meetings. office job? Damn. I worked in national security as an engineer. What? <laughs> Not weapons, not weapons. I want everyone to know I never, ever worked on anything like that. The stuff that okay. I worked on was really actually very fulfilling work. Like, do you remember the um, the tidal wave, the tsunami rather, that hit uh, the Fukushima power plant? In- oh, yeah, yeah. So I worked on projects with robo- robots specifically for situations like that. So I worked oh on- Oh my, that's so cool. Yeah, we worked on robots that would go into- biologically or chemically contaminated or unsafe unsafe space and they would use AI to like map the space and then like okay see that's that's a good use of AI yeah 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 that's fucking crazy I didn't know that's That's amazing yeah yeah it was actually a really fulfilling incredible job that I hated (laughs) um wait did you have a what did you have a a day job or career pre-comedy or did you go straight into it yes I was a life I was a life science advertising copywriter wait what for which i know and it was let me just say not fulfilling (laughs) not life-changing that's a Um, way more in the war of art which is one of my favorite books about being an artist they say we often have shadow careers that's a shadow career that's way more typical like being a copywriter is so a shadow career for actually wanting to be a comedian I mean, I essentially interviewed when I interviewed for the job. I did that thing where I was like, I, I, I was a biology major in pre-med in college. Um, and I went to the interview and was like, I just want to I love science so much. And I also want to <laughs> and I also want to write. This is a perfect combination of both of these. Th- you know, like it's just like the way you have to like spin a job interview to make yourself but seem people like really. But people aren't spinning it to the interviewer. They're spinning it to themselves. I have n- yes. You, I cannot tell you how many people are like, I love entertainment. I love like this, that, or the other thing. But it's not like it's not gonna be my real job. And I love like yes. law, so I'll be an entertainment lawyer. Bitch, you're not doing comedy. You're yes. doing contracts. There's yes. no entertainment in this. None. It's the spinning it to yourself is really real too. Like during COVID, I worked at a Home Depot and I was like, <laughs> no, stop. I worked at a Wait, Home Depot. Really? Stop it, Maddie. In the customer service section. So I got to be <gasps> nice and bubbly, but I also got to like pick up wood. And I was like, I uh, gender euphoria. And it was like, <laughs> no, bro. I'm like making no money. It sucks. Aww. Did you really work at Home Depot to yeah. affirm your gender? Like that was well, like part I mean, of it for you? Well, you know what it was is because I was making these, I got really into the the rug tufting TikTok trend and I started making my own rugs. What's going on with that, Maddie? And I, I still have them for fun. But like I, 
I was like making them and I was going to Home Depot all the fucking time. And I was like, rugs don't make money. I should just work at the Home Depot I'm buying the rug stuff from. <laughs> and I was like pretty good at it. it was actually, that was actually my, probably one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. Home Depot? <laughs> yeah. But I've, Were the I've, people cool? Uh, what about this job, Maddie? What about this job? <laughs> oh, well, Do you know how know, hurtful it is I don't think to I, hear your co-host be like, my favorite job that I ever no, had? No, I meant like a, like a, like a jobby job. I don't think about comedy as a job ever because I'm like, it's fun. It's like a, it's like a- Oh, one day. All right. Anyway. Hey, no, it is my job. I'm just Wait, okay. No, I want to hear. Did you ever? Did you ever have an office job, Maddie? No, the, I had like I, Home Depot, and I worked in like restaurants, and I walked dogs. I though see that's like a distinct. If you're like trying to make it in the arts, I think these are two kind of distinct ways to do it. You can yes. either make kind of real money and have absolutely no time to dedicate to your craft or brain 100%. space, <laughs> or you could make no money and be abused. Um. But and have time for your crap. And they're both like soul them. sucking yeah. in different ways. You're so tired. Or, you, or born into a rich family. Now let me oh, talk about that. That's the way you want to do it. <laughs> if you are born. Or, in, or, now here's the thing. If you're born into a rich family, and I genuinely mean what I'm about to say, don't take a job to try and appease other people. Don't try and look <laughs> normal. Don't. I'm not. I'm. Tian, I'm not joking. Are you serious about this? If you are so lucky as to be born and want to do the arts and you have talent and you're born into a rich family, don't get a job. Just hard send your comedy or whatever it is you're going to do and just make whatever you need to make to get by plus your rich family paying for your apartment or whatever. Don't like tell people about it. Don't, don't brag about, don't be rude to You should to have people. to wear a sign on, you should get a tattoo but yeah, on your I said There should be like some sort of like, you know, instead of a scarlet letter, you just get like a little money symbol like <laughs> sewn into all your clothes so that we know. Yeah, right. I, I completely agree. It's like it's like the ethics of like how AI has to have the watermark to be like, hey, this one isn't real. Don't like hold yeah, yourself this, to this standard. We gotta right. watermark like, all these Nepo oh, babies. Yeah. <laughs> Watermarking Nepo babies. <laughs> Fully. <laughs> Fully, I completely agree. Yeah, and and I um, that's fine. But I think go for it because I think I think at any level in in trying to pursue a dream, there's always going to be people who have it harder than you, and always going to be people who have it easier than you, unless you're Lucas yes. Zelnick. And um, I thought that would get a laugh from you, but <laughs> apparently, not. oh, I held it in, but it was deep. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is. Even if you have it the easiest, it is it is still not going to happen without luck and an incredible amount of no, hard work. you still work. have to be good at it. You still have to be good. And I agree, go for it, but I disagree, don't tell anybody. I think the price you pay for having an easy life. I agree, go for it, but I do disagree. I need to, I need to know, personally. Well, when I need to I know say and like, sorry, you just get to be unlikable. Just don't be a yeah. I think That's just the price don't, you pay. don't be a dick. That's what I'm thinking. Of course. Because sometimes those kinds of people, Lucas does not do this. Those no, people Lucas have a great. tendency to lie and, yes. and be like, oh yeah, I work at a coffee shop. And then you see their Soho apartment and you're like, you don't fucking work at no, a coffee shop. That, Tell me what's going on. That sucks. It's so much cooler to be honest. Like I respect that so much. Yeah, yeah. I respect the honesty too. Yeah. I like, I want to know if you're a trust fund baby. That's fine. I just want to, I want to personally know. <laughs> When your money vests, you get to take it out, and it's a lot. <laughs> and are you going to book your friends? That'll make your jokes funnier to me. And and are you going to book your friends? And are you going to start a production company and book all your friends and put them on your shows? That's, yeah, that's all I I want to know. Um, what have we? How did we get here? Yeah, sorry. Well, we've been like all over the place. I want to talk about Maddie at Home Depot. That shit's hilarious. The Home Depot. They told me I couldn't put my pronouns on my apron because it was too political. Even though my pronouns were she, her at the time. <laughs> they did. <laughs> Maddie, how much? How much wood were you picking up, and what kinds? Are we talking like beams or plywood? Well, so or it, like it was actually. Okay, this might get boring, but it's actually really interesting. It was like you think this is going to get boring for our audience. <laughs> They are, on the, they are on the edge Everybody's of their been, seat. I know. They've been waiting for the wood content, okay? Wait, Let's I go. will say it's almost inherently political of Home Depot for you to have she, her pronouns and them to be like, no, you can't do that. It's almost them being like, you're too non-binary to have she, her That's pronouns. Really That's funny. political. I, they're, well, apparently they're <laughs> like, like, it's like they, they went around the circle to the Republican <laughs> side. Well, no, I think they actually are owned by like a Trump guy. Didn't know that when I applied. But um, everything's owned yeah, also, like, by who gives a, a fuck, Trump right? guy. Like I'd be a bad person for working for Home Depot. Yeah. I needed money. But um, but it, it was interesting because it was in Chicago. And so it was like, it was in this section where like if someone was going to do like a huge like 
building contracting project. Like people would come in and be like, hey, I have a $10,000 order of lumber. I need you to like go get it from the back and like make sure that everything's here. And so you I, just slid, you just slid out of your little lumber chair, didn't you? <laughs> it was fun, dude. You got to like go 10, to the back, 000. these huge fucking carts. I got to like <laughs> carry toilets and shit. It was fun. Not carry them, but like roll them around and shit. That's but, amazing. But also some, this one like carrying old a guy. Toilet. So I was like, old I like people. the idea of someone carrying a toilet. <laughs> I know, just like, <laughs> like a barrel. <laughs> But it's so interesting because you're like, you don't think about the fact that like, oh yeah, if somebody needs this, someone has to go like get it off a shelf. Like if they're going to build a house, like someone has to, so it was cool to see and that side of you. it. you. And that was me. People are sitting in um, their apartments right now because of you. I was a crucial part of the American economy. <laughs> but, and for that, I am sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, well, the last thing I was going to say though is that it was funny that like sometimes old people would come in and like be really like not, not even old people, just people like wouldn't know their shit. And they were not to brag, we were one of the biggest stores in North America and we had 40,000 unique items. So people would come and ask you for a very Holy specific thing. Shit. And you had to be like, yeah, I don't know. Some people like knew it. And this one time this old, this old Polish guy came in and he was like, I- Cause it's Chicago. It's Chicago. That's and I think, great, I love it. So I Chicago. Think, I. I think, is it okay for me to do, Pol I, I mean, I'm not even gonna correctly do a Polish I, accent. I want you I'm, to do it. Okay. I, he, you know what? I think our Polish listeners will still feel seen. I think they'll feel seen too. Okay. Need pipe. Well, he was he was like, yeah, I, <laughs> I need this. Mind. It's broke. I need this. And I was like, it was literally a shard of plastic. I was like, there's no <laughs> number. There's no name. It's not part of the shape it was a part of. And he was like, it's broke. I need this for my house. And I was like, I don't, your house is going to explode. I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. <laughs> and it was like, you would just be expected to know shit like that. And I was like, I can't help you. Well, are you gay or not, Maddie? <laughs> Apparently not. Um, <laughs> I bet I would. You know. should be able to. If you're really gay, tiny pieces of plastic. You should be able to identify what it's a part of. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Anyway, all right. You have anything cool going on right now? Are we supposed to ask? Did you have gay sex this week? I had gay. I have a really thoughtful little gay sex. Yeah, but thing. I was asking him. Oh, I was going to do a gay sex story. Oh, am I messing up no, the order? I'm no, sorry. No, you want to host? Host. Sorry. Wow. I'm do you have a gay sex? We're going to go in a circle and do gay sex stories. I have a gay sex story, but it's like fucking gay, dude. It's gay. Listener, are you listening to our Patreon exclusive, You're Having Gay Sex? Well, here's a sneak peek of what you missed last week. I like had so much fun this week. I, I have the guilt again for how much fun I had this weekend. Why? What happened? This is a Patreon. Really What's the juicy juice chemistry. of what happened? It was just really good chemistry. Like how so? Come on, Maddie. Come on. Tell me. <laughs> I want to know. Alex, close your eyes. <laughs> it's an I... audio medium. Yeah, okay. What are you, you going to close I'm the door? I'm editing Sydney this later. Hear. You fuck, you <laughs> you know, fuck me on Sydney camera? How? Hear. Sydney can't hear. Because you can't hear your boss talk graphically about a <laughs> vagina. That's their job. It's just like sometimes it's really good pussy. <laughs> there are four bonus episodes a month of this series, You're Having Gay Sex, on our Patreon at the $10 tier and then two at the $5 tier. Patreon.com slash WHGS. My comedy special, my hour-long comedy special is out. It's on my YouTube. Just go over there, watch it. Watching it completely really, really helps. And share with a friend if you like it. Leave a comment. Go watch my special, get some friends over, turn it on every phone, turn it on every computer, break into your straight neighbor's house, ruin their algorithm by watching the special. It's nine years of my, of my work culminated to this point. If you love this podcast, this honestly, the special is way funnier. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say that. It's just way funnier. It would mean a lot to me if you watched it. It's free. It's on YouTube. But thanks, guys. Thank you for your support. It was made possible by our Patreon, patreon.com slash WHGS. But mostly, my fucking special is on YouTube. Go watch it, you piece of shit. I'll tell mine. Okay, this is fucking gay. I've, okay. The big thing in my life is work-life balance. I have none. I am tired. I went to, I'm promoting my special right now. I went to LA, I, second time in three weeks, I went to LA, furiously podcasted for like 48 hours. Just furious podcasting, dude. I did, I think I did a total of 10 podcasts between my two trips to LA. 
Holy 10 shit. podcasts. And and when I was, I was, it was such an LA trip, Tan, because I was like, the podcasting out here is just like so good, bro. Like it is, it's, it's better <laughs> out there. But like, I hate that I'm like, I hate that I'm looking at podcasting as a craft now. <laughs> these are these are the people I used to be like, well, they're not comedians, so they're podcasting, and now they're selling tickets. And now that's me. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm a good comedian. This is your business acumen. Okay. There it is. And and I learned a lot, but like I'm tired and I have this chronic pain thing. <laughs> Disability pride. Hmm. <laughs> 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 being disabled and being proud is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to like <laughs> do to, to navigate. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not proud. And like, don't listen to this and be like, Ashley, you're ableist. Like, no, I am literally disabled and I'm yeah. trying to be proud, but it is very tough. It's very tough to to like feel tired and your joints hurt yeah. and like your toe just hurts so bad it wakes you up in the middle of my t- fucking toe, dude. My oh. toe? My toe? Like legit, what part, my wait, toe. Wait, what, what, what part of your body? My <laughs> You're so funny. But like, anyway, (laughs) so I'm tired and I'm worn down. I'm so stressed that I like delayed my period by like two or three weeks. I'm stressed out. And I was just like, this special to me, if it goes the way I think it could go and the way I'm anticipating, like I've, I've, my big, my business side of me is like, if this goes the way I need it to go, it will finally put me in a place where I think I can have the team that I need and to do less travel, sell more tickets, be more efficient. Because I feel like, what I'm struggling with is efficiency. I'm doing well, but I have a lot of projects. I have two podcasts. I have the social media. I have YouTube. I have touring. I have my weekly show in New York City. I mean, this is several full-time jobs. It's It cannot last. It's going to fall apart. So, like, I have to, like, something has to break out as a larger success at scale in order to support all of this. <laughs> is this terrifying you? It's terrifying me to say it. To find me for my future? No, just for like you. for me. Oh, it sounds like insanely stressful. Yeah, I'm yeah. stressed out. So, but also I'm, so watch my fucking special. Yeah, I'll watch, watch your special. Also, I feel like you're like navigating the bounds of it and where your limits are and where like. Yes, for sure. And you're doing yeah. so well and you're so successful that part of me is like. This is the fucking ride, baby. Like it, it's it, cool. Yeah. It and is not that the stress. Not that the stress is like an acceptable part of that, but like, like to me, I'm like very oh, it's hard to work out. I think you know it what I mean. It out. is working yeah. out. It, it is out. very hard to in, enjoy everything, and I'm constantly before I'm getting on stage, being like, bro, like people would die for this. Like, be yeah. grateful for what you're about to do. Be present. You know what I'm saying? And, I'm, and I am trying to maintain that. You can also be like, I, I think there's like you can also be doing the thing that you love and it can also be hard. Like those things yes, can both be totally. true and you're allowed to be like, I'm not feeling it right now, but okay, I'm going to do, it. you know, like it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Um, but the thing that like the, if, if Maddie knows this, I have this wonderful, beautiful, incredibly smart, funny girlfriend who, you know, we decided that, yeah, yeah. And we decided that we're like going to get engaged soon. So I was like, this is like, this is my, yeah, this is my partner for life. I'm obsessed with her. Um, Her name is Jen. Yeah. So this is where the story gets so gay. The one, I do not give a shit about anything. The one shit that I'm trying, one thing that I'm trying to make space for is time with Jen. Like that is the most important thing to me because she's super busy. I'm traveling all the time. We both have really busy lives and the time that we have to spend together is like quite short, especially Mm -hmm. the time not working. Like she's here today, but she's working. We filmed a, uh, I filmed a self tape with her yesterday. She filmed one with me today. Like, um, so we're doing that, but that's like not time together. Yeah. So even though the special is coming out and I'm feeling so behind on everything yesterday, I took probably the first full real day off I've taken in weeks and weeks and weeks. And I just spent the day with her. And I want to tell you about the day because it was like literally the most perfect day ever. Oh. Okay. We, yeah, we slept in and it was like, but we didn't sleep in too late because we still had time to go and get brunch. And guess where we went? We went to Bouvette. 
Ooh, that's the, my favorite restaurant on the planet. Okay, yeah, I don't know so it, good. but it sounds fancy. I love it. We stood in line and we did the crossword together while we waited for Bouvet. We did the we do the wordle competitively oh and then we do God. this crossword together when we stand in line and we're so bad at the crossword, we never finish it. We cheat and we get like four words. We're so bad at the crossword. It's just two lesbians being idiots in line. Then we sit down. I great. We get sat down next to the queerest person on the planet, redhead mullet. Redhead mullet, like purple Whoa. winged eyeshadow floral dress but like long like just so queer definitely recognize me nice okay yes yes so great morning just chit chatting then we're like let's like walk around like do some shopping but not buy anything so we did that perfect weather we just like went window shopping and went into places and smelled candles that were really way too expensive so we did that and then we went home we got ingredients to make I don't know what drink it was for her but for me it was watermelon juice with like spicy on the rim maybe it was a margarita I don't know but she made it with tequila for her and made a virgin one for me and then we went and picnicked in the fucking park and played okay, banana grams on a blanket oh, in the park that's when I texted you. you texted me I was invited to come and I couldn't make it I'm fucking okay whore. I love and this <laughs> so we're playing banana grams in the park west side park watching the sun go down and then we go home we get a quickie in before we go to a Broadway show we went and saw six Damn. incredible is this oh not God. like the best day? Brunch, crossword, bananagrams in the park, sunset to a Broadway show. Is that not so good? That's incredible. What show did you go see? Six. It was so good. And it's by queer people. I think both um, writers of the show are queer. I followed them. Come on my podcast. Okay, so we saw six. Six is great. Really challenged me as an artist. Not challenged me, but like I was watching it because it's such a feminist, smart show, but very mainstream. Like mm -hmm. Republicans from Iowa would like the show and I don't think they fully understood like what that meant for them. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, Very feminist show. It's about the wives of Henry the eighth or fifth or sixth oh, or wow. seventh. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yes. So very feminist show. No men in the show. Trans piano player live on the, trans woman piano player live on the stage. Joan, shout out Joan. Okay. So then we go home, we order in sushi and then sit on the couch and watch Love is Blind. Incredible. Isn't that wow. just the best day that ever? That kind of rocks. And, and no, it was that's just- it. That's adorable. It was just like one of those days where I was like, oh my God, like I love, if I could have this, uh, not even that every week, but just a day off with my person every week, then I feel like my life would be like so complete. So I'm working on it and hopefully I'll get there. Actually, and you're so in love. I'm so in love. <laughs> I love it. I'm like ridiculously in love. And and um, you just really have to prioritize your partner. It's like really important. I don't know if anyone needs to hear that, but you have to have you have to have nurturing time with that. And and then I I was just like, oh my God, am I in like the honeymoon phase of my relationship? You know, like it feels that perfect and that wonderful and beautiful. So it was a great day. You should have been part of it, Maddie, but you weren't. <laughs> oh, that sounds so <laughs> lovely. It was a, so cute. It was a really great day. And the sex was great. We're like really, we're kind of straight now. Like sex only takes like 25 minutes now. See, people <laughs> say that about straight sex and I'm like, I'm been getting dicked down for 45 minutes. I don't know what everyone else is doing, but <laughs> they're not doing that. <laughs> they're not doing that, Manny. They're not. I was doing that. You were dicking <sighs> down? No, I was, I'm saying I've had straight sex and it's mostly been like, I'm like, if we want to go an hour, like we'll go an hour. No, but like, well, I mean, traditional lesbian sex is like an hour is base, I think. Mm. 25 minutes for lesbians, like. No, you're. Fast. Yeah, y'all are, uh, you figured it out. Yeah, we, we have a, we have like a routine. You know, you know your thing and then you're, yeah. But it's still really good. And that's really nice. That's so nice. Yeah. But congrats on your great straight sex or whatever. Thanks. You're, you're like an enemy of the pod today. <laughs> you work at Home Depot. You work at Home Depot. Sorry. Fucking Republican. <laughs> you yeah, you fucking love Home Depot. You love the the boss that You didn't put your pronouns on your apron. You have yeah. straight sex for hours. <laughs> oh, seriously. You have a man cave in a she shed that you've never talked about. <laughs> and you don't even like this job. Sorry, I don't know why I'm being this. I guess it's just wine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Live laugh love. <laughs> um that's my 
That's my gay. Actually, about- if you're stressed, you should literally just live, laugh, love. <laughs> I have a lot of kitchenware that I think would be really inspiring to you. That would be so nice. Maybe we should vision board. <laughs> I would um, love, uh, you have such wonderful decoration decor behind you, but if you did have a live, laugh, love sign above we're having gay sex, I feel like it would be perfect. <laughs> That's so We gotta funny. do it. We gotta do <laughs> some sort of like take on live, laugh, love. That's yeah. so funny, yeah. Um... <laughs> Being gay is expensive. You're constantly moving in and out of every girl's home. You're buying new toys every time you break up, okay? How many subscriptions do you have for dating apps? That's why I love Rocket Money. It saves me so, so much money. If you don't know what Rocket Money is, let me tell you. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. I've been using Rocket Money for years. It saved me so much cash. I actually had a few unwanted subscriptions that I forgot about on some dating apps after I met my lovely, lovely Jennifer. And it canceled those subscriptions for me because it's like, it's like it knows what you need. It's so simple and easy to use and saves you all the money. Over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. And chances are you're one of them, like I am. Like that Stars app just to watch one show or that free gaming trial you never actually used. Well, Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you. And any that you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it right then and there. It's that easy. So stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash Ashley. That is rocketmoney.com slash Ashley. Rocketmoney.com slash Ashley. Listener, the weather is hot. Maybe you should get a mattress that keeps you cool. Did you know that Helix has mattresses specifically for you you little queers that run hot? Now, I run cold, actually. So I put in a different set of answers on my Helix sleep quiz, the two-minute quiz that matches you with the perfect mattress. I took it about two, three years ago, and I've been sleeping like a baby ever since. I love my Helix mattress. It's the best mattress that I've ever had. And don't just take my word for it. Multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine recommend Helix Sleep as a go-to solution for improving your sleep. And if you're worried, I don't even trust them. You don't have to trust them because Helix gives you that 100-night free trial. And if you don't like it, they'll come and pick it up for you. Plus, there's a 10 to 15-year warranty depending on the model, listener. What more could you ask for? Oh, you want more? I got it for you. Because right now, Helix is offering up to 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go over to helixsleep.com slash gaysex to get that sweet, sweet 20% off. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Tian, did you have gay sex this week? No, I didn't. And you threw your and, neck and out. I, it because I threw my neck out. Like I don't know how I did it. I feel like I'm at that eight. Like I'm in my mid thirties, where like sleeping wrong and sleeping wrong can like fuck me up for weeks, and that's happening right now. Like mm-hmm. after we I actually had that Mad- recently. How old are you? Thirty five. I am also thirty five. Slept wrong. I don't know where. I don't know. Like we Pinchy? went to. What'd you say? Pinching. Pinching, like this whole side yeah. is so sore and I kind of can't turn. Like if I turn, I have to turn my whole body and my and if I turn my head, that hurts. Um, so after March Madness, so high on seeing women just absolutely kick ass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my partner and I were like getting a little hot and heavy flirty. And then I leaned in and I was like, I can't. It, my neck hurts too bad. <laughs> I love the idea of being turned on by women's basketball, though. I mean, I <laughs> it was just a day of celebrating women, and, and we wanted to celebrate each other, okay? Um, but we were really like, I was like, ooh, this is a nice Sunday. It's nice out. The sun's, the sun's shining. Like, we're having a lovely time. LSU won. And we really, like, I, I, we're starting to, like, get a little hot and heavy and I I was like ow 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 and she's like are you okay? we can stop I'm like no no and I kept trying to like 
continue, <laughs> but it was very pathetic because I was like, oh, ow, ow, actually, wait, ow. So to answer your question, no. And if you're, if I, you take your neck out, oh, sorry. Is it if if you I take, take my neck, neck out. No, I'm like, if, I, no, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't, that wait, wasn't wait, a wait, suggestion. What? I was no, saying, you don't know one, about, you don't know about neck removal for less yeah, Wait, position. I can take my neck out. <laughs> I'm just saying it, it's funny that if your neck goes out, you have to like, if you want to have sex, you'd have to pretend to be way kinkier than you want to be. You're like, yeah. I guess I just can't move. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's, wait, remember I wanted to be a mannequin? Let's do that. <laughs> Babe, I have this neck brace that I really want you to fuck me in. I was thinking maybe you're a mortician. <laughs> you're a mortician and I'm just laying here <laughs> like a stiffed body with a rigor mortis. <laughs> um, but don't, did you guys try, like, are you more, are you typically more, like, is it very physical? I guess, like, I, even the thing about a neck pinch nerve is that even the smallest movements will. Even the smallest movement. Like, yes, it depends. You know, we can be or we cannot be. But, like, even just... I feel like it just kind of like everything hurt as I was moving mm -hmm. like down my, the back of my neck, which made it unpleasant. So I, I had to stop. And are you doing anything to work on it? Any massage, <sighs> acupuncture? I am doing just like heating pads and stretching. Should I go get a massage? Dude, I am all about acupuncture. Really? Yeah. The needles freak me out. I get a little scared. I was a little scared the first time, but it's so worth it. It's really worth it, especially if you're face down. Okay. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Okay. I just had this like horrible image in my head of like having all the acupuncture needles in your back and then like accidentally rolling off the table and you <laughs> land on them. Maddie, there's who's rolling <laughs> off the table? I don't know. Who's getting acupuncture? I am. And okay. I'm not rolling off the table. You would roll off the table and then the acupuncturist oh. would come back in and be like, Maddie? <laughs> Maddie, where... Maddie? Maddie? Where the fuck did... Why is there a pool of blood down here? What She's just like... They're just writhing on the floor, just like bleeding and... <laughs> oh, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, it's Lucas. Oh, I thought it might be my dignity or ego. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, we're recording, and this is actually perfect because we, we talked about you and we need an an insert let me introduce you to tien she is a comedy central set and she's on the hulu hit show how i met your father <laughs> hello hi nice to meet you now tien needs you to just throwing me right in yeah tien needs you to say um how rich you are we need you to yeah. basically say that you're a nepo baby and that how it's helped you with your comedy um <laughs> okay uh <laughs> How am I doing? I'm well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Lucas, I would just like to say hi, and I'm your friend. And please remember, I'm not the host or creative director of this show whatsoever. No, no, I'm no. I'm just along for the they ride. They just work at a Home Depot and much prefer that. Go on. Yes. Uh, um, I'm very, yeah, I'm very rich. I have a trust fund, and I'm in my apartment now. You can see um, that it's my apartment because um, it's gigantic, and the windows are huge. See, I love and, this. And, um... It's helped me with my comedy because I don't have to worry about anything other than writing jokes. Oh, there we go. Thank I'll you, call Lucas. you back. I love you, Lucas. We love you. Love thank you, you, Lucas. Thank you for your honesty. Wait, but I want to... Oh, we're going back to acupuncture, though. Do you think you would try it for your neck? Honestly, no. I think it would freak me out. I know my mom... My mom loves it. My mom does it all yeah. the time. And she yeah. really loves it. But Do I you just, love your mom? Not right now, Ashley. Um... <laughs> No, I do. I love my mom. And there you go. She she really I don't have just because I love her doesn't mean I have to do everything she does. Like she's straight. I don't love her that much. Like <laughs> I don't have to do everything she does. Um I like the she, game where you have to do everything your mom does to prove your I like this game. Oh this my is my God. new I guess have to flee a war. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find a war. Build a life for myself in a new country in a language I don't know. <laughs> what an incredible challenge. <laughs> uh, uh, that would be great gay sex. What? Fleeing a country. Fleeing a, oh a war-torn country and starting a new life. Uh, that, that feels so gay to me. 
I just compared coming out of the closet to fleeing a war-torn country. Yeah, she was like, that's like when I ate pussy on the Upper East Side. <laughs> <laughs> I think people would agree with you. <laughs> but it is like a new language. Like, what does this even mean? How dare you? I know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Great. The um, refugees are going to come for you now. <laughs> slay. Okay, so... But uh, anyway, so you'll but you'll be back in the game soon, right? I'll be back in the game soon. Yeah, put me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long have you been out of the neck? The neck related just for a week. Okay, a week. That's uh, yeah. I don't know. I can start to feel itchy. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll get into. Uh, maybe I'll get into the mannequin play like we've been talking about. I think. I think. Get back to us. Just lay okay. there. See how it goes. Maybe throw an ice pack on. I'm sure that'll be really great for our relationship <laughs> if I. <laughs> Have her very gently sit on your face so that maybe compression. Honestly, now that you say it, maybe that would work. Maybe that's the type, you know, like like rest, ice, compression, elevate. Like I can be yeah. doing all of those things at the same time. Um, elevate is interesting for a neck injury. You're right. Because usually I'm walking on my hands all the time. So it's good that I'm finally <laughs> upright. <laughs> yes, for the injury. Um, well, that was great gay sex, Tian. Thank you so much. We got to go to Maddie's sharing corner if that's okay yes. with you. I would love to go to Maddie's sharing corner. Listener, one of the best ways to support this podcast is to come see me live, okay? It, it's a really great way to just support the whole team and everything that we do here. So get on my text list or my email list. It's international, both of them. AshleyGavin.com. Go sign up, and I'll literally text you when I'm in your area. So you don't have to hear all these plugs. You can skip right by them. Don't even worry about your city. Just get on one of those two things, and I will let you know, okay? Because there's a lot of cities coming, and i just remaking this announcement over and over again. We all think it's annoying. You do. I do. Get on the text list, you piece of shit. Maddie Sharing oh God, I got to change the name of that. I feel like I'm... <laughs> Maddie Sharing Corner. Maddie Sharing Corner. Oh, my are you, God. Are you going to talk about Home Depot? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. you have an amazing voice. More. Okay. No. <laughs> gender. Something about gender and elves. Oh my God. No, we don't. I don't need to be roasted anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm no, sorry. no, you're fine. You're fine. No, it's a. It's Maddie a, is sharing. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> pony eared little freak. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a pony. Po po pony. <laughs> Pointy ears. Wow, Freddy and Slip, you think I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Okay>. and <laughs> I um did not have gay sex this week, although I did what? have a story. No way. Fuck you, suck my dick. <laughs> but I <laughs> uh I did have a story from the past that I don't think I've told on the pod before. Cool. Um if I have, forgive me, but I'll do it in more detail. I, th I, I think this is a new one. Cause, okay, I was thinking back to like, I like a problem I always had when I was like flirting when I was younger is like, I would think I was flirting and I was actually just like becoming best friends with the boy. And I was like <laughs> being a bro. You, you and everyone who listens to this podcast, it's people like are gonna relate to this. Is that you're saying there's a true in queer culture also like regardless? 100%. I okay. would say it's more queer, true in queer culture. Although in my closet, I had a really funny moment on this pod. I think the last episode with Kate, I realized that this bro that I was forming, I was trying to get him to like me, but he knew I was a lesbian. So like I was, I was trying to get this. I was like, this guy is my friend. He is cute. I should kiss him like this. I could be straight for this guy. That's what I was hoping. This is early on? Early. Uh, oh, high yeah. School. I thought you meant like, I was like, why? No, no, no. I was like, were you bored? Are you like a sadist? What's happening? <laughs> yeah. You're you like bored? the kid in fucking Toy Story that's like taking the toys and putting them together in weird way. Maybe if I kiss this man. No, no, no. I, I, no. I was in high school desperately trying to be straight. Desperately. Oh, oh me fucking too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was on to me because he would just talk about how hot other girls were. That's so funny. Well, that happened to me too, but I was like fully, I was like, I want to fuck you. <laughs> right, but mine was, mine was like <laughs> really not real at all. 
But I would like think that I'd be like, oh, like we're like, I'm really flirting with this guy. And it's like, I've been giving off like bro friendship vibes and I didn't know it. And so this is one time that that happened in a kind of beautiful way. I was in college. I'll keep it anonymous, but it was a friend I of mine. I bet this is such a non-binary experience for bisexual and pansexual non-binary people. I really think it is because it's mm-hmm. like, I, my masculinity is like, I am like, I, yeah, I like sleeping with men a lot. I like men a lot. I, I also love have like, Stanley Kubrick, dude. I <laughs> love his films, man. No, there is. We have like- I'm flirting I, with you so hard right now, expressing my love for Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> dude, my first relationship, it was like, it was very fun. And a lot of times I was like, I really feel like a girl and with the guy, but I'm also like, there is this like bro element of like, I like to hang with my boys, dude. Yeah. And then I like to fuck them. <laughs> I love, I'm just one of the guys, but I'm being penetrated yeah, while yeah, yeah. I'm doing that. Yeah, that's the idea. That's ideal. I'm just heck, and I love that for you. Dude, I'm <laughs> one of the guys, I just want to hang out and suck dick, dude. <laughs> that's Bro, the goal. I just want to squeeze your balls a little bit and then play ball. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I want to play ball and I want to play your ball, dude. (laughs) You think straight sex is squeezing a guy? Some men like to have their balls squeezed. I'm pretty (laughs) sure. I'm okay. I'm pretty sure babies are made through just ball squeezing. Tell me I'm wrong. You don't milk them like cows. You yes, have to you fuck do, them. Maddie. Yes, yes you, you do. do. <laughs> we know. You don't touching a guy's balls <laughs> without touching his dick at all would be so the way insane. that you have kids. The way that babies are made. <laughs> Like in a lab, maybe. You would never do that. You, you would never go and touch the balls first unless you're wearing a glove and you have like a medical. T- if you're touching the balls that's not, first, that's not how they're doing. Checking for cancer. Like the <laughs> thing you're describing is like not. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Maddie, prove it. Prove us wrong. Yeah, because prove us wrong. <laughs> I have fucking videos, dude. I will. <laughs> Call my bluff. I'll show you. No. <laughs> No, I've read enough Cosmo magazine growing up that I know that that's not how you have sex. <laughs> but the oh, but so this this time that I thought that um, I, I would say I'll try to keep it anonymous. It's a comic, but we're good friends, so I think it's probably fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> and nothing happened, so that's why it's funny. Is I was like in college, and uh, and I was like this guy. I was like, oh my friend, like he's cute. Maybe I should. Maybe this is a thing. And I, my roommate was like, her boyfriend was coming over for the night to like, they were going to hook up. And I was like, okay, I need to like, but it was like one of those, like, we didn't have a wall. We were just like two beds in the same room. And so I called my friend and I was like, Hey, like I, my roommate's boyfriend is coming over. Like, I don't know where to stay tonight. Can I like stay with you? And he was like, yeah, totally come over. And you're so excited. Classic. You're so excited for this, right? I was like, we're fully going to, yeah, Yeah, you're you're like, yeah, yeah. She's going to fuck. I'm going to fuck. Everyone's going to fuck. I was like, it's in the bag. It's fuck city. Important yeah. detail, though. He did live with my ex-boyfriend, which I was okay. like, we'll just get around to that. Burying the lead. <laughs> <laughs> but so I came over there. We, like, met up. We're hanging out. He's, like, showing me his typewriter. And he's, like, my good friend. Like, we know each other. So, oh, my showing God. Showing me his typewriter. He lights a candle. <gasps> and then I hear my ex-boyfriend come through the front door of the house. And I didn't know how clearly I'd be able to. Like, I can hear him, like, cough. And I'm like oh like this is it's too weird i didn't know he'd be able to hear i like that this guy has a typewriter though it's incredible he's one of my favorite people but and i turned to my friend and i was like hey maybe we shouldn't and he was like shouldn't what oh and i was like i was like i just need like a a second candle he lit a candle i was like i was like if it were a girl no no, here's the thing wait wait, here's the thing here's the thing sorry i don't want to cut you off but it's 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 an incredible moment that i was like i just we're gonna fuck, right? And he was like, whoa, what? And I was like, you lit a candle. And he was like, I do that every night. (laughs) He's (laughs) non-binary. He just like serenades himself. No. No, but yeah, he was, no, I was, I was like, you just, it's like He was a boy in college and he lit a candle? I don't think this is ever, what's that? No, he's older than me. Okay. Not by a ton. But then it was actually really sweet. I was like, oh, I don't remember. He was Diane Lane in a man's body. Just like <laughs> lighting a candle every night. What is this, Knights of Rodanth? Like, come on. <laughs> but it was so funny. It was actually kind of just a really fun sleepover. I was like, oh, okay, if that's the vibe. Oh, you, 
I still spent the night. Oh, you slept over. He was one of my best friends. We just got, he got in his boxers and we played Legend of Zelda and I watched him beat the game and then we fell asleep and we got breakfast. another level. Like I, I've done, I've done something. I've, that has happened to me. I've, the, the amount of times that I've slept in women's beds that like nothing happened is like, it's an embarrassing amount. Uh, see, I can't, I always make the move. I always make the move. Always. And if I bomb, like what you did, bombed horribly, like atomic bomb. <laughs> okay, there she goes, weapon CEO. <laughs> One of my robots would have to go in, map the space, make sure people are safe. <laughs> if I bombed the way you bombed, I, I have to leave. Like I can't. But he was my best friend. I was in college and I had known him since I was like in yeah. high school. But that feels almost more loaded. Can I ask you something, Maddie? Yeah. Are mm-hmm. you now triggered by typewriters? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's insane that he had a typewriter, dude. It's insane it that he insane. had a typewriter. It's like <laughs> it's it, is he like steampunk? Is he no. like steampunk? No, he's just like a writer. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no writer is actually still writing on a typewriter. He's still one of my on, on the phone the other day. The only person that's allowed to write on a typewriter is someone who's like sold 45 books, bestseller, yeah. and they're like, this yep. is my process. You can't like be a young- No, he had like a process, but it's so fun because the typewriter is so loud. Yeah, of course. We had a typewriter- and slow. <laughs> and like bad. Like it like- And you can't delete. You can't delete. We you had have a- to be so- sure of what you're putting down on a typewriter <laughs> we in my in college there was a typewriter in our um in our library and actually after i hung out with my friend i was like i should try like using a typewriter and i went and it's like this silent library and i was like clack, 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 and it's like so loud and then it just gives you this like what did you line. write and it was like one debt <laughs> Yeah, You're right, because sometimes you have to type the same letter like 45 times to get it to stick on the... You know what I'm saying? K. Oh, K is a bad example. Uh, F. K is usually the funniest letter, but not... It, I not mean, not in a row. <laughs> it's, it is funny in a row, but like not for our listeners. They won't appreciate that. <laughs> but anyway, shout out to my friend from college. He's a real bro. And he's got, <laughs> we had a real bro hang. Yeah. And he's, he's a good comedian. He's a great comedian. I don't know. I want to plug his comedy, but I'm like, I'll leave it anonymous. Why don't you ask him <laughs> and then we can cut it if he doesn't okay. want it in there. Uh, I'll just say he lives in So go see a comedian. In- so good. <laughs> <laughs> Who is famous for typewriting his jokes. <laughs> All right. Okay, but I we we might need to cut this. I'll call him and ask him. But if not, shout out one of the funniest mm-hmm. dudes. Yeah, I'm sure Love you'll you, be bro. fine with it. <laughs> You're so cautious. I'm actually so proud of you for taking that leap. Oh, thank you. Why does it be respectful that there's no, another course, person involved? But of course, like, of agreed. course. But you can always ask and cut. Yeah. All right. I'll ask him. But he's one except of my best that buds. Tian has already tweeted it. And it is yeah, yeah, in the yeah. next season of How I Met Your Father. Re- record so you- first. Apologize later. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. That is my life philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tian, where can people? This was such a great episode. I think we're gonna wrap there. This was it moved fast. It was great. Um, Alex is so taking those. Fun. Alex, are, Alex, are you typing on a typewriter right now? Nah, uh, I'm modern man keyboard. Wow. <laughs> Alex, I love that about you. <laughs> what? I love that you're a modern man keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my way so that. So good. Modern, nah, modern man keyboard. <laughs> Not even a sentence. I've said this before. Barely a sentence. I'll say it again every day until I die. Alex could you could give him like a random assortment like you could give him lorem ipsum and, and he, he would deliver think, it with the funniest comedic I, delivery of all time. I think he just time. did. I think we I gave just, him we gave him a brown not even a brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. He just fully <laughs> nah modern man keyboard. <laughs> what? Incredible. Oh, what? That's really incredible. <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Alex, please leave.
even the typing throughout the episode, I will do an audio <laughs> note up front because it just, it really ties the whole it's thing really together. Funny. At least leave it in like in this portion, okay? Oh, then we definitely have to leave the last name of the guy my story is about. <laughs> Cause his name is Alex. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise that sounds insane. <laughs> um, Maddie had, Maddie tried to hook up with Alex. <laughs> Jesus, sorry, Maddie, Alex. Maddie tried to, the story about I tried about to Alex. ruin this podcast from the inside out. I tried to take it down like an <laughs> empire, a succession style. <laughs> um, oh God. Okay, Tian, are you working? Where can people find you? What are you working on? Uh, the second half of How I Met Your Father comes out the end of May. So you can see nice. the season two, part two. And I'll just be around LA doing some stand up. So, you know. Are you still Hank at- Tina on yes, Instagram? Yes, follow me on Hank Tina and you can find out where I'm performing. Hank Tina is a reference to. I can't say Hank Tina without laughing at your joke. <laughs> It's a reference to racism, and I'm reclaiming it. (laughs) Oh, my God. Should I ruin the joke for people? I think it's, like, one of the funniest jokes I've ever heard. Basically, Tian's name is Tian Tran, and a teacher at school looked down. Well, my full name is actually, like, Han Tian is my, like, full full name. Yeah. Okay. Han, does it say on on the, the paper Han Tian Tran? It Yes, it usually, it says Han Tian Tran. Okay, so that's what the teacher sees. Han Tian Tran. <laughs> and what the teacher says is, Hank Tina. And <laughs> I I mean, when I tell you that I lose, like I've watched it just for fun to hear that one <laughs> oh, sentence. It's so fucking funny. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, just- it's pretty outrageous. Teachers, gotta love them, you know? <laughs> um, well, anyway, uh, please please go turn on your notifications for my special. The trailer's up, so you can turn on a notification that'll message you when um, on YouTube when it comes out, but it's April 23rd. Alex is losing it over Hank Tina, I presume. Um, yeah. No? No, I am. <laughs> yeah. um, and, or, or you can turn on your text alerts for your area. What, when will this come out? I don't know. My website, yada, yada. Maddie, you want to go? I'm Maddie T. Wiener on Instagram. I have a YouTube channel. Check them out. And I have a mailing list and a text list um, in my Instagram bio if you want to come see me on tour doing stand-up. And patreon.com slash WHGS to support this podcast. It really, really, really helps. It pays for everything. Okay? Okay? All right. <laughs> Listener, my voice is shot, so I'm just going to cut it short this week. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Pray for my voice. I have seven shows coming up this weekend. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Text alert. Goodbye, listener. <laughs> <laughs>